Hi everyone, I'm Brian Sterling. This is News 8's continuing coverage of the snowstorm blanketing western Michigan. 39,000 consumers energy customers are in the dark at this hour. At least six inches of snow on power lines, trees and on the ground. And more is falling by the minute. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca for what we need to know about the winter weather warning. Ellen. We have a long way to go before this system wraps up and some might be experiencing a slight lull in the action that is going to be possible for the next several hours, but then it just reignites into the lake effect snow with blowing and drifting as we work into Saturday. There's a reason why this winter storm was alerted all the way through seven o'clock tomorrow. Live look outside of Grand Rapids, slight improvement in the visibility at this point in time. A little bit evident, the lull in the Benton Harbor area starting to see some of the reflectivity is filled back in in South Haven, which means the snow is regenerating even on our southern fringe here. We expect widespread snow can to continue but a few of our communities might experience a brief lull overnight tonight. I think many of us near Grand Rapids and I-96 along to the north aren't going to experience a lull at all. So here's a look at some of our confirmed snowfall totals on the ground. Many coming in six inches, a few coming in close to about three inches of snow. Thank you to everyone who is taking pictures and snow totals sending it our way. Some of them are adorable like this one, Brad Glasser and Creston snapping it and sending it in. And that's what we like to see, people staying inside, staying safe and enjoying the snow instead of going out in it. These are viewer reports, Brenda White Cloud saying 5.5 uh, inches there. Now here's the thing, this is a very heavy wet snow and we are expecting these very fast wind gusts that are upstream and the 40 to 50 mile per hour range to swing into West Michigan tonight. So right now, slight lull in the action, even with all the power outages that are trickling in. And here's what we expect overnight tonight. The winds to start to pick up a 50 mile per hour wind gust in Sturgis near 2 a.m. Continuing on closer to daybreak, this is 5 a.m. Wind gusts near the lakeshore first peaking at about 30 to 50 miles per hour. And then those fast wind gusts continue to sweep in for everyone by the time we get to Saturday morning. So I think we're far from done seeing the power outages at this point in time. And I think a lot of people might be mistaken when they first see the lull. But Brian, that's the next piece of this puzzle that we're watching for. And unfortunately, we have a long way to go. All right, Ellen Baca, thank you. One of the largest cluster of power outages on consumers' energy's outage map is in Wyoming. At one point tonight, some 1,600 people near 28th Street had no power or heat. Taylor Morris has been checking on those outages tonight in the efforts to get the lights back on. Taylor? Hey, Brian, yeah, since we were last live, we changed locations. We are now in the 5700 block of Blaine, which is just outside of Kentwood. We did drive through Wyoming and we didn't see any power outages. So hopefully, you know, consumers did get those back up. But last we checked and heard from consumers, like you said, 16 people were out or 1600 people are out of power there. And that wasn't expected to be restored until after 1 a.m. this evening. And Ellen, like you said, a lot of this snow, the thing about it is it's very wet. It's very heavy, just to give you an idea. I want you to take a look at some of these trees here. I mean, they are just covered in this snow. S same with the power lines. We did talk to one neighbor in this neighborhood just a little bit ago who said there were down power lines in his neighborhood. However, you know, we have drove through this area and we haven't seen anything like that just yet. Um, earlier today, I did talk to the Kent County Emergency Management Team and with the power outages, they're really pushing two main messages tonight. Stay home, avoid avoid the roads at all costs, but also if you are experiencing power outages and you are using a generator, make sure to keep that generator out of your garage at all costs and also keep it in a very well ventilated area. As always, we will be sure to continue to update you with these weather conditions throughout the remainder of the evening. Live in Kentwood, Taylor Morris, News 8. Brian. Right, Taylor, thank you. As you can see, the system walloping Grand Rapids right now. It's just the beginning. Blake Harms in the Weather Center to talk about what's behind the storm. Yeah, Brian, you and I were talking about this. Uh, with the fact that the power outages are so scattered in nature is concerning because that means everything across West Michigan is being weighed down. And winds are going to pick up as we head into the day on Saturday. In fact, we're expecting a, a brief lull in some of the wind gusts overnight. That's the top bar you see. But notice they get back up to near 40 miles per hour. And with all the weight on those trees and power lines, there's very little doubt that we'll see those numbers grow. We're also tracking that snow. Looks like, as Ellen mentioned, Grand Rapids will be right in the pivot point 
for snow overnight tonight. So areas to the south of M6 have the best chance of, of seeing a brief wall for a few hours overnight tonight, but then precipitation fills back in area-wide pretty quickly. That comes with much cooler temperatures and strong winds, and then we transition to lake effect into Saturday afternoon. Totals uh, by late Saturday still looking on target, 10 to 14 inches for most of West Michigan. We're tracking additional snow. Here's another look at future cast beginning at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, it is ripping across most of the area. Uh, this is a very light, powdery snow, lake effect tends to be. Uh, that means it's going to be easy to blow around, and we will likely see significant additional accumulations into the day on Sunday. So this event is going to last all weekend, and that snow and wind is going to make that power outage recovery that much more difficult. Brian. All right, Blake, thank you. Best advice tonight and tomorrow, you've been hearing it, just stay home. Kyle Mitchell and his photographer Jeff Blakeman are focused on the deteriorating road conditions across the viewing area. Kyle, what are you seeing? Brian, definitely noticing that lull that Lake was talking about. Uh, we've seen just now, it's just very light snow. Uh, we think that lull is really helping the plow crews right now just catch back up. You know, the neighborhood streets, of course, uh, we're on one right now. It's not, not ideal, uh, but we were just over on division, and we were seeing just pretty clear conditions lease on those main thoroughfares through Grand Rapids. Um, so hopefully this lull can kind of linger for a little bit. I know we don't have it for, for too long, but it's helping those plow crews catch back up. Um, but we're still seeing, you know, people struggling to get up hill, hilly areas. We saw a few cars earlier um, struggling to get up the hill. One person had a couple of people trying to help push their vehicle up the hill. Um, that was over on kind of the north side of Grand Rapids. So these conditions, um, still not great. You know, that lull is nice. Um, There's still slush. You know, we've seen even like some SUVs that got their tire caught. Uh, in a slushy snowbank off to the side of the road and, and just struggling, uh, not able to really break free from that. Um, but division right now, pretty clear, but we just saw a few plow trucks coming through, the, through here. So make sure you give those plow trucks plenty of space if you do need to be on the road tonight. Um, but if not, uh, you know, enjoy staying home and, and staying warm. Uh, it's not worth... Uh, taking any un unnecessary risks but uh, I'm in the passenger seat here I'm not driving or anything um, we have Jeff Blakeman photographer behind the wheel and uh, things have improved slightly but again really just downtown is where we have been for the past few minutes um, just seeing crews kind of catching up on the downtown area of Grand Rapids but still a bit slow slow coming through and with more snow expected overnight uh, could be could be a bit of a challenge. But we'll uh, send it back to the studio. Yep, okay. Kyle Mitchell enjoying the ride there, and uh, whether it's on TV or woodtv.com, we'll be here to report on everything you need to know about the storm in the region tonight.